Good morning everybody. A very nice BMW 335i today to show you. It is a model year 2009 built towards the later half of 2008. It spent most of its life down on the Mornington Peninsula and it was sold new at Mornington BMW. I'm personally very familiar with that dealership. We have a family house down at Mount Eliza and uh, as a result this car's spent most of its life out on the beautiful open highways of the peninsula probably up and down to Port Sea or Sorrento it came up to Sydney a few years ago and uh, the owner traded it in on a Porsche 911 very nice fellow the mid 40s and he's looked after it very well It does have a few M Sport options, including the M Sport wheel that you can see there with paddle shifters. We've got M badging on the rocker covers as you step in. And nice M wheels as well. The 335 was the range topper, short of a full blown M3. So I believe it started with a 320 in the coupes, a 323, a 325, a 330, and then the 335. So this is significantly up the very top of the model range. And you do have workable seats back there, an adult will fit, and they've even got rear air. Not for long journeys, but definitely could fit back there. You can even adjust the seat position from here. The black leather is beautiful, it doesn't look like it's done 109,000 kilometers, which is a low amount to begin with anyway. And this car's got a lot of features. Obviously keyless entry, got the key fobs like that. It's even got digital television. I was sitting in it a moment ago watching Sunrise. HID projector headlights. Very good tyres, let's see what brand they are. Bridgestones, so they are factory correct. Got a very workable boot back here. For a sports coupe, it, it goes back a very long way. Obviously it's nice to have the original first aid kit and warning triangle as well. Cargo net as well, it's just loose, you can attach it down if you want to. Obviously you've got parking sensors back here. Stepping in, very comfortable. Certainly feels like a car that has done half the caves in here. Put my foot on the brake and I just push this little button to start. The iDrive comes on, which is nice. My seatbelt comes out to greet me. I think they stole that from Mercedes. <laughs> and we've got the iDrive interface here. So you can see the news there. It's a very nice feature to have. You can just sit in the car and watch TV. We've got dual zone climate control, eight stacker CD player turn your parking sensors off there. 12 volt outlet or cigarette lighter depending on what you want to use it as. As you can see it is a non-smoking car. Let's close that up. Beautiful touch shift automatic so you can put it over into sport mode or you can shift it manually. Manually rather. Pop it back into drive. Conventional handbrake as well. Being a BMW some owners like to do handbrake turns can't do that with a push pedal, not that this owner did that. <laughs> and you've got paddle shifters here as well, which is nice. As you can see, just 109,353 kilometers. And we do have to put some washer fluid in the car, which is what that little warning triangle is letting me know. We'll give it a bit of a rev for you now. I've got the windows down. It sounds great. 
really, really does when those turbos spool up. It's uh, definitely a very quick car by anyone's standards. The cabin's a very nice place to sit. The black with the brushed aluminium looks very nice. We do have a sunroof up there as well. Cup holders as well. You often find them broken on a lot of 3 Series, so it's nice to have them operational. We have uh, also thigh support, which is nice on the sports buckets. Not much else to show you in here. Multimedia steering wheel, of course. We'll um, shut it down and I'll uh, pop the hood for you. Bear with me a moment. Definitely a very nice car. Very clean under there, probably the cleanest engine bay I've ever seen for a car with 100,000 kilometres. We haven't done anything to it, it came in like this. It looks, you know, like a demonstrator. And the colour code up here, it tell, it's telling me it is called Titan Silver Metallic. If you're looking for a German sports car that you can use every day, there's not a lot that looks or drives like this in the just above $30,000 range. So I suggest you come in and have a look at this car. Give us a call. We do specialise in BMW and Mercedes, as you can see. I've always got about 70-ish uh, cars in stock. And uh, one of our friendly staff would love to hear from you, either via email or telephone call. You can find all our contact details on www.old.com.au. That's O-L-D. And we'll, uh, we'll catch you down the road. Thanks for giving us your time and watching this little presentation on the 335.